Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and in my past videos, I've talked about building a foundation, how important it is to have that mass before you start carving and shaping your physique. And also, in one of my other videos, I talked about how compound exercises like the Olympic lifts that the Old School bodybuilders used to do, like the, the clean and press, the deadlift, the squat, the bench press, the push press exercises like that will build you some serious mass and power that will give you a dense powerful physique so in this video i want to go over a complete and full tutorial of all those olympic lifts the power lifts that really give you that dense physique like reg park or hercules or maybe like franco colombo before he became a bodybuilder because a lot of the bodybuilders back then they were power lifters and they had that muscle density and that thickness in those muscles before they started shaping it and carving it and then became bodybuilders. And it was those very bodybuilders that became the most famous and the most well-known because their physiques had a lot of foundation. They invested a lot in their foundation before they actually started bodybuilding. And also, I wanna go over some of the exercises I did when I was playing football. And I feel like those exercises aided in building the foundation I have today. All right, so let's dive into it. All right, so first up compound is the bench press. This works the chest, the shoulders, the triceps, and a little bit of the back. This exercise, we didn't do so much in football because we didn't really have to push anything with our chest, but I highly recommend it because it's a staple in all the old school bodybuilding books I've ever read or any articles I've read or videos I've seen or pictures I've seen. So yeah, really good exercise, definitely a staple, good exercise for power. Now let's move on to the next exercise. So this is an exercise that we used to do a lot in football. The reason why is because when you tackle someone, you use your hips to drive and then tackle them. Now this exercise builds really strong hips. This is the, that's one of the reasons why we were doing it. But this exercise, it's almost like a full body workout because you use your shoulders, your back, and your legs. Also, this is one of the exercises Arnold was doing in the beginning of his bodybuilding career, especially when he had, when he had picked up that magazine with Reg Park and the whole routine was laid out from every exercise, like the bench press, the power clean, and the deadlift. So yeah, this is one of the exercises that he was doing when he first started bodybuilding. And also, this is one of the exercises he said that he sees no one doing in the gym, that no one's learning about the basics, like the, the clean, the press, the clean, the push press. Exercises like that will build a really powerful body. Cool, so that was the power clean. Now let's move on to the next exercise. All right, so next up is the hand clean. This is similar to the power clean, but don't get them confused. The power clean, you start from the weight and you clean the weight up. The hand clean, you start from your knees and then you clean the weight. This is also an exercise we used to do in football as well. Again, this is another compound movement. It works multiple muscles at the same time. Very good for power. So let's move on to the next exercise. All right, so next up is the deadlift. This is pretty famous. You've seen guys like Arnold and Frank Colombo deadlift all the time. This is another compound exercise that works multiple muscles at the same time, but mostly it's for the back the lower back this is another exercise i used to do a lot in football even when i was out of football i did it for a while back then too really good for power and this is one of those exercises you can't fake you can fake the squat by not going parallel you can fake the bench press by not going all the way down and touching your chest but this deadlift you can't fake at all it is a real feat of strength that um that shows and demonstrates true power cool so let's move on to the next exercise next up is the squat compound movement it works multiple muscles at the same time the quads the hamstrings the calves if you do them correctly and also the lower back tom platts would call it a full body workout because you tense your whole entire body as you're doing to as you're doing the squat that's what he likes to do but yeah this was another exercise we did in football a lot really good for power this is also a staple in many of the bodybuilding programs and routines and articles i've ever read they always do this. It's really good for power, mass. So it's a pretty classic, basic exercise you can't really get rid of. All right, so that was the squat. Now let's move on to the next exercise, the front squat. Some people will argue that the front squat is not a compound exercise, but it is something we definitely did in football a lot. Now, in football, we have strength and conditioning coaches, and this is something you put in our workout for a reason. Definitely this, this definitely this exercise builds mass in those quads. 
This is also something you've seen Arnold do. He actually did it a lot because he couldn't get the same type of uh, contraction or benefit from the squat like Franco Colombo because he's shorter. Arnold was, I think he was 6'1", 6'2". And he wasn't able to go deep like Franco could. So he relied more on the front squat. This was also a favorite exercise by Steve Reeves. This is also one of those forgotten exercises. At the gym, I never see anybody doing front squats. Maybe because they don't know about it or because they just can't do it. But I do front squats all the time because I know the benefits of the movement. So yeah, I would definitely keep this as a staple in your leg workouts. All right, so that was the front squat. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Now, this type of exercise you won't really see anybody doing at your regular gym unless you go to a powerlifting gym so if you're looking for a very powerful look in your traps and shoulders this exercise will definitely do it all right i know i should have used a better picture but don't get this exercise confused with the wide grip upright row they are two completely different movements they are done differently they even look different comparing this exercise to the upright row this exercise requires a lot more power. The upright row does not. And also, this was an exercise we did a little bit in football, not too much. He sprinkled it here and there every so often. Now, if you're looking for the ability to clean a lot of weight, do this exercise. Also, if you want a nasty look to your shoulders and traps, this exercise is for you, but just be safe. So that was the snatch high pull. Now let's move on to the next exercise. So next up is the classic barbell curl. Everybody does this. Mike Menster, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you name it. Really good for the massive biceps. Definitely a staple. I would always include it in your bicep workout. Arnold used to do the cheek curl. This definitely builds some power in those biceps. This exercise also works the shoulders and the biceps as well. This exercise we didn't do in football a lot. We did it a little bit every so often only because we kept bugging our coach about how we wanted big arms because we were trying to impress the girls. We guys in the football team, we were trying to impress the girls. So he was like, yeah, y'all also I'll throw in some bicep curls. So you guys start getting, so you guys can start getting those big arms. So you guys can start impressing those ladies. So yeah, really good for the mass of the biceps, get some size in there, compound movement. Of course, that was the bicep curl. Now let's move on to the next exercise. All right, next up is the push press. Arnold talked about this one, that nobody does it anymore. It's basically like a front barbell press, but instead of it being super strict, like you don't pump your legs or anything like that, in this movement, you pump your legs. You get that momentum so you can push more weight. But what this does is develops more power in your shoulders. So this was one of those exercises I got really good at. For some reason, I would always knock someone down in football when I, when I played kickoff. And I always relied on my shoulders. So I felt like I really needed strong shoulders if I wanted to keep knocking people down. So I got really good at this one. And I feel like this one has to do a lot with my shoulder development. That's why I feel like I have such good shoulders because I relied on a lot of exercises like the power exercises for my shoulders. Push press, behind the neck press, barbell press, stuff like that. Those are the exercises I used early on in my bodybuilding career back when I was doing Olympic lifting in football. So yeah, really good movement if you're looking to develop more power in your shoulders. Now that was the push press. Let's move on to the next exercise. The Romanian deadlift. Really good if you want to build powerful hamstrings. Fact, working the hamstrings and building powerful hamstrings, of course, will give you more torque in your leg. Just a quick fact. But this also is pretty much a full body workout too. It works the lower back heavily as well. This is also an exercise that I did in football very often too. We all wanted powerful hamstrings. Of course, I stated earlier, it gives you more torque. But this is also one of the exercises I pulled the muscle in. I pulled a hamstring a long time ago. I was doing like 70 pounds for the Romanian deadlift, doing like five reps or something like that. Pulled the hamstring. It was the worst thing of my life. And my hamstrings haven't been the same after that. So yeah, really good exercise if you want to build powerful hamstrings. It's a compound movement, of course. Those are the best. Just be safe when you're doing this one. Don't go too heavy because you can also pull a hamstring like I did. It's the worst thing in the world ever. So yeah, that was the Romanian deadlift. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Lunges. They're a really good compound movement. They work the glutes, the hips, the butt, the hamstrings, the quads, sometimes even the calves. 
Arnold says this is one of his secret exercises he used as a weapon. He liked it in his leg training. This exercise we did here and there in football, I would definitely include it in your leg workout. It's a really good leg exercise. I've seen a lot of old school bodybuilders do it. No one really does it anymore. I mean, they just don't know because they don't know about these old school exercises that really build the foundation of your physique. So yeah, that was the lunge. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Next up is the close grip bench. Um, Frank Zane liked doing this one especially with his elbows pointing out to the sides so he could definitely emphasize that lateral head of the tricep which i mentioned so much so yeah definitely a really good combat movement it hits multiple muscles at the same time it hit a little bit of your shoulders your chest it will hit all three heads of the tricep this is a really good exercise if your desire is to build powerful triceps and a powerful bench press because of course when you're bench pressing you're stabilizing muscles, one of them is your triceps. And in order to really skyrocket your tri your bench, your your um, triceps have to be really strong. Cool, so that was the close grip bench. Now, let's move on to the next exercise. The clean and press. This was another exercise that Arnold talked about. He says that nobody's doing it in the gym anymore. They're forgetting about the basics. Now, the clean and press is basically, you're cleaning the, well, it, it can go two ways. You can do the full power clean and clean the weight up and then press it. Or I guess you can kind of do the hang clean, which is just start from the knees, clean the weight up, press down, clean again, and then repeat the whole process. This exercise is really good if you're trying to kill two birds with one stone. You can combine the clean, the power clean, with the push and press. Now the power clean is going to build a, a powerful body, just hips upper body legs and everything like that you're gonna get serious power from the power clean combine it with the push press you're gonna get powerful shoulder girdles what arnold says you're gonna get powerful sh shoulder girdles i think i'm saying that right and powerful shoulders you're gonna get some serious power in the shoulders and then when you combine those two it's like you become like a a true hercules you become a true hercules like reg park or you can do it the strict way and just clean the way and just press it you know just more of the isolation movement it's up to you. All right, so that was the push press. Now let's move on to the next exercise. The bent over a row. Man, I remember in football, I was doing these and I was doing them all wrong. I actually thought it was a tricep exercise. I don't know why, but anyways, um, I was really shitty at it. Shitty at it. My back was like really weak and I could barely do like 10 pounds of bent over a row, I remember. But anyways, this is a really good exercise if you're trying to build mass in that back. Some, if you're trying to build a powerful back, this exercise is for you. This works the rear delts, the middle back, the rhomboids, the lower back. I mean, the whole entire back, basically. The biceps as well, too. The shoulders, of course. It's a combat movement. It involves multiple muscles with one exercise. All right, so yeah, this should be a staple in everybody's back workout. Every bodybuilding program, every old school bodybuilding program I've ever read, every article I've ever read, or every book I've ever just seen on old school bodybuilding, this is always included. This is definitely the best back builder in the book, right next to chin-ups. You've seen tons of guys do this. Um, Reg Park, Steve Reeves a little bit. He liked more of the one-arm row. Arnold Schwarzenegger, big fan. Franco Colombo, Robbie Robinson, he liked doing it strict. So yeah, definitely one you should keep in your books. All right, so that was the bend over row. Now, let's move on to the next exercise, the chin-up. This is a staple that should be in everybody's back workout. It's a compound movement. It works the biceps, the back, the shoulders. In every bodybuilding program I've ever seen, old school of course, has has either always had chin-ups or bent over rows. It's always been those two. Either that, sometimes they alternate. It could be deadlift for chin-ups instead. But anyways, yeah, pull-ups, I mean chin-ups or pull-ups, the same thing. Definitely a staple. Really good exercise for the width of your lats. Definitely keep it in your back workout at all times. So yeah, those were a lot of the old school exercises, the Olympic lifts, the bodybuilding lifts that I've used in the past that helped me achieve that dense physique, you know, that muscularity, the mass that I have right now. And I even made a list, um, so I made it easier for you. So I made a list of the compound exercises that I think you should be using that probably work the best. So right, I'm going to go through it right now, real quick. I got the bench press, I got the power clean, the deadlift, 
the squat, the front squat, the barbell curl, the close grip bench, the barbell press, the push press, the Romanian deadlift, the clean end press, the bent over row, and the chin up. I know I didn't make a video, uh, a slide about the regular barbell press because it's like I already included two in there, the push press, and I included the clean end press. So it's like those were enough to to get like get uh, like a course. Like why wouldn't he include the barbell press? Because it's like I don't know. I feel like I didn't have to. So now I hope you got a really clear idea of what exercises I used back then and what exercises I mean when I talk about using in terms of building a really good foundation like the old school bodybuilders did. They did full body training. They were all power lifters. They did Olympic lifts like the snatch and the clean the jerk and everything like that. So yeah, hope this helped out. Like this video right now. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan. Check it out. Peace.